Hi, this is Anne with a quick anagram on using date arithmetic in spreadsheets, which um, may sound kind of nerdy and technical, but turns out to be just a huge um, labor and mistake saving tool uh, when you are using spreadsheets to help you plan through calendar. Um, and I do that all the time. I'm not sure how other people get organized for their semesters, but the first thing I do uh, before each semester, before I start moving Canvas courses forward or anything, is I create um, a new version of this spreadsheet. I teach online, I have very consistent due dates, and still the calendar um, gets get, it gets complicated. Uh, you know, for example, school starts on a Monday, but the pattern I want to have throughout the semester is that I release new material on Thursdays and it's due the Thursday after. Um, but then down here over the course of Thanksgiving, we have a two week week. So um, I use this. Um, I used to use it just for my planning. I actually release it to all my students now for all my classes and um, sometimes update it, but mostly it stays the same once I get it worked out in the course of a semester. So this is a Google Sheet. Um, all spreadsheets do arithmetic the same way, so I'm going to actually show how this works using a, an Excel sheet since we're a OneDrive school. Um, might, might as well use Excel. Um, so you can see See, I've, I've carried forward the first line from my personal spreadsheet over into here. Um, ignore formatting for now. And just as I would hope that you don't sit there and type um, numbers into this column with the weeks, that you use a formula um, and then simply copy this down to line 16. Okay, to get your week numbers. Um, it turns out that you can do the same thing with date arithmetic. So for example, in my class, I want everything due on the Thursday. So it turns out that every Thursdays are seven days later than the previous Thursday. So if I do that equal to C1, C2, plus seven, because the units here are days, then I can simply do with my due dates the same thing that I do with my week numbers. And then when I get down here and Thanksgiving is messing with it, what I do is just change this formula to plus 14 for whichever one of those weeks is actually Thanksgiving week. Um, looks like it's this one. So if I just change that to plus 14, that adjusts and then the one after it adjusts and I have school ending at just about the right time. Thought I'd share that. Thanks for listening.